What's up, everybody? Spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Medieval Engineers back on our castle build that we've been working on. Oop. So, um, last time we added this uh, second floor, I guess you might want to call it, for the, um, the castle, the tower. I'm thinking of making the tower parts kind of the part that sticks out and then the second floor is going to be like the main wall height. I'm thinking. I'm kind of thinking that. Um, still have not really come up with a solution for this corner, so we'll probably leave it for now and deal with it later. Um, I did get a couple suggestions though to try instead of these stairs uh, to actually try out these inside the tower. And um, I tested that up here and as you can see like this one you can see the um the hole in the side that it leaves because it's um it's a circular staircase uh sorry it's kind of dark in here it's hard to see but when we get up here to the top um this corner one fills in the square more which i agree it actually is a good idea um so for example, now there's no falling through the, the hole in the side there. Now you could do this, we've discussed this before, that you could um, use the combine block feature and put a wall tile in with this block, but it would change how you did the, um, the circular part and the tower itself. So, there's that to consider. I mean, in your own builds or whatever, you could totally pull that off. I've thought about doing it on this one myself, um, but I just don't think it's going to end up working this, the way that I'd like it to. So, but yeah, that, that actually works really well um, to do it this way. And actually, that should improve. I don't know if that will improve this at all. I don't think it will, because it's still a height issue. Um, but it, it just makes it a lot more cohesive that nobody's going to be falling through the hole in the corner. So, good call on that one. Appreciate the, appreciate the idea. Yeah, that works much better. It looks a little less spirally, I guess, than I would like it to. But without actually doing that... Um, combined block type of system, um, it, it makes it a bit more fluid to where it's not as hard to navigate in and out of there. Okay, so I think it might be time to work on another one of the towers. Now, a couple of you have suggested using timber to create um, furniture and stuff up here in the top floor. Not a bad idea at all. Um, Especially the more we get familiar with how the timber mechanics work. Uh, which one is it that stands it up? That way. There we go. So you could do stuff like, let's say if we shorten this a bit. Maybe put it down. Actually, it's probably smarter to put the wooden plank part down first. Though, hmm, that might make things difficult because it's basically the floor. There's, I might, you might actually have to do the whole thing out of timber, which I'm not sure if that would be feasible or not, but we can play around with it here. I don't really plan on doing a whole lot with this right at this moment. Um, but it looks like it's definitely possible. Though... <sighs> My hand's in the way, Dagnabbit. Um... That's the only thing, is it gets a little persnickety about what it's gonna let you put where. If we were to do this... The other thing is, I don't know how this will impact frame rate, having this many blocks together and stuff. If you were to do something in this fashion. 
Um, but it does look doable. The only concern I have is um, like this kind of stuff where it just decides it doesn't want to connect for some unknown reason. And I really can't figure out why that... Is it because I'm attaching it to the wall and not the actual block, maybe? Maybe that's it. So let's try something like that for now. Now, can we flip this? There we go. Now let's see if we can handle the leg part. See, that's the only thing. Okay. Can I get rid of this? I think I'm detecting a pattern. Here. Let me try something. Don't freak out. Ah! Okay. <laughs> what I want to try is like this. Where if we were to connect it by... Uh-huh. That's what it is. Okay. So what you have to do is actually connect it to the timber, not the floor or the wall. It has to be connected to the actual timber for it to allow you to continue to build on it. That's... Okay. Okay. We're, we're learning things. Oh! I broke it. I broke it. Um, what did I break? Was that a wall? I think that was a wall. I meant to break that. I think that was just a normal wall. Like one of these. Maybe. I hope. I think that I think that's it. Okay. So this is kind of why I wasn't going to do too too much on this right now uh, because it seems like something that could be very time consuming. And I kind of wanted to work on um the other towers for now and still focus on the structure. But yeah, that's totally doable. We could totally make furniture. That's cool. Good call. Okay, so we need to fix this. Uh, however one may fix this. There we go. Good as new. Alright, so that's a good idea. Good call. Um, so, let's get into another tower here. Now, this one is probably going to be a little bit different for a couple of reasons. A, just for uniqueness and something different. Uh, but B, is because we have to deal with this rock formation here. Which is not a bad thing, it's just a different thing. Um... So if we wanted to curve this, I feel like we're going to run into the same issue that we ran into over there. How did we handle this side? Okay, so this side is not beveled. It's squared. So we did a square and then a bevel. Okay, that's what we did differently over here. And that lets us actually have... That's what caused the problem on that corner is it comes in right where the corner is. Okay, well, at least that's on the inside. Okay. And then we did a bevel. And again, I'm not sure if we'll be able to do exactly the same thing that we did on the one side or not. It's going to just be kind of a trial and error approach here as to whether or not we'll be able to pull that off. Um, whoops. That was unexpected. I do want to try and make sure that I get the stone wedged into the rock and not, like, having squares floating around or whatever. Um... I think we did... Bevel, square, square, bevel. Okay, yeah, that's... The wall is one of the squares for the... Wi okay. Okay. Got it. Getting it. Good. Figuring things out. Um, Alright, so we're going to start maybe 
here. Maybe do one more, just to make sure we're good and wedged into the rock there. Um, I might leave this open because we're going to end up having to build another walkway, and we may attempt to do the actual other spiral that we didn't pull off before. Um, I think that would be cool. Okay. And I think that's all the building we're going to be able to get on that side there. So now from here, we just curved directly. Somewhat unfortunately, we could... We could actually do... Um, expand this out by one. I just don't know how that would mess with the dimensions of the tower. So for this build, maybe in our next castle, we'll be a little bit more planned out as to dimensions of things. But I think for this one, since it's our first castle build, both of the builds so far in this series have been like my first attempt at things. Um, so I'm not going to worry too much about it ending up, you know, not quite the same way or whatever. I believe we can do like this. I don't... I don't really know how this is going to work, to be honest. Um, because of the stone. I've never built around stone before. This is going to be a little weird. Um, huh. Now, we could... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. What we'll do is we'll actually build this up and make it to where... Um, oh, can I, can I hook that bottom block there? I kind of want to. I want to... Yes! Got it. Sweet. Just to make sure everything's like there's no air pocket. So what we're going to do is this will actually be floor one and floor two, not three. We won't have three. Okay, that would be cool. I swear this music, this particular soundtrack that it has, right, that's starting to play, totally sounds to me like The Walking Dead. I don't know why, but it just does. Okay. And what I'm going to try and do is build this one maybe even a little differently um, in terms of the interior. Not the exterior, but the interior. Um, oh. We need to... St oh, crap. I'm messing this up. Hold on. Just doing some stair fixing. There we go. Alright, so what I'm trying to do here is match the uh, flooring space with the previous one so that basically again when we get up here we can say that this is the top floor and we'll keep everything level so now if we want to use this spirally staircase and not the one that we decided to use in there which works better for that design i'll give you that um we need to put the walls actually like in these blocks here to make it more of a um, I don't know if we'll have to do whoa whoa now I don't know what happened there um, hello can I get rid of you thank you that was weird alpha <laughs> It's my answer for everything in early access games whenever anything doesn't behave properly. Okay. And come on. What are you what are you catching? Oh, that's that's okay. It's cuz I wasn't actually needing to merge that block together. Okay. So Okay, and this is where we could really use the, um, the door. Now, what I wonder is, is it better to use this one? No, because it's squared. So we want to use the doors we used in the upstairs part of Tower 1. Like 
this. Now tell me, please tell me, that that is... No, this is the one that's broke. Dang it. That's the, that's the exact uh, doorway that I really wanted to use. So I guess we'll do this door. Or, no, tell you what. Let's, let's make this a little bit more simplistic. It'll put you closer to the stairs, and it'll also mean that there's less of a doorway for anybody to access. Now, before we get too carried away with this, I do think it'd be a good idea to place one with a window there. That way you can come in here, but you can also still see what's going on outside, because these are supposed to be kind of like watchtowers, so... Sorry, I'm trying to get the view squared away. So, this will end up... Unless we make that an interior, uh, this will end up being a different tower shape. So we might have to make this an interior. So actually, on second thought, we might want to scrap that. So now, what we're going to do... Um... No, not that. There is a lip going here, though, that we need. Aha, there we go. And, oh, I see the problem. Okay. It's that this needs to be a corner. Aha! Success! And then I think we did the same... No. No, no, no. No, we left that an edge corner. I think. And then just curved... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, let's... Curve this one. I don't, I'll deal with that other part later. I think it actually just needs to go back one. There we go. That fixes it. Alright, now... Let's put that one there. Do that. Like so. I am trying to make sure that it gets in the wall. Um, just so that it looks organic and like you're really kind of putting the... I don't know, maybe even like the castle grew over the wall or something. I don't know. But I think that would be kind of cool. I don't think I'm going to get this curve... So let's just put that there. Um, okay. I didn't really finish the wall here, did I? Go ADD. Alright, is the wall done? I think the wall's done on that. Alright, cool. Now, let's put the wall here. Okay. And again, that'll just wedge into the mountainside there. Works for me. Same there. Cool beans. So now, we would continue to follow this structure. You know what we could do is make a false... Yeah! Oh, this will be cool. This will be cool. What we'll do is we'll make a false uh, tower that looks like this, but it's thinner on the inside. And what I mean by that is instead of putting um, this block, which takes up a whole space, what we're going to be putting is this block that does not. That'll be awesome. And actually, we'll make this one a window like we intended. And then we can do walls here. Oh yeah, that'll be cool. It'll look like the same thing from the outside. But it won't be the same thing. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to do a evil laugh there, but you know, just felt like the thing to do at the mo at the time. Okay. And then we'll have to do a doorway. Wow. That's creepy. It looks almost identical from the outside, I think. Now, can I walk through here? Yes! 
Hooray for non-broken walkways. Now, what is this one? Why do I have two walls? Did I... I must have done that on accident. Okay, now I just need to find a way. This is just going to bug me if I can't get it. I really want to find a way to get this wall inside the mountain here. I'm pretty sure I could do a terraforming thing. Actually, I might not need to need to. I could probably cover that up. Just like this. Yeah! That'll work. I mean, it's like the back of the mountain. Nobody's gonna know that. Nobody's gonna see that. Out of sight, out of mind. Okay, so how high up did we take this? I think it's about like that. Maybe? Um, let's see. <laughs> let's do the old school uh, space engineer's way of doing things. Yeah, that should be good. And then we'll build the... Uh, We'll build the floor in on top of that. Alright, where is my stuff though? I need my stuffs. Okay. This is gonna be cool. I should have done the other one this way, but oh well. It'll just make for diversity. Just make for an interesting design. It'll, I think that'll be cool, though. It'll look like one on the outside, but then it's actually different from the other ones on the inside. Don't judge a castle by its towers, I guess, is the moral of this story. Okay. And to cap this off, we're going to put this like that. So, if we get down here... Perfect! It looks identical from the outside. But to the inside... We go in like this. Have a little window. Shoot that guy drinking his coffee. It's kind of a recurring thing, don't you think? And then we've got the actual spiral look. Awesome! I like it. Alright, so let me know what you guys think. And in the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!